Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. You are Earth sign, so this is a full moon reading for the Earth sign. What we're going to do is do the um, sun rising uh, sign first, and then the moon rising, and then we do the general to look in um, what is going to be happening in your six houses, okay? So Earth sign people, this is how it's going to be uh, for the next 12 months. So, um let's see what is coming up and i'm going to do a stamp um um uh, a stamp below this video if you want to see your extended individual um zodiac sign reading you have to become a member of my channel and it's because these are done in collective energy vibration the element the four elements okay these are all collective readings in order to get your extended and it was the same with my um, channel you had to buy it from my channel okay but everything is going to YouTube now so in order to get the extended reader you have to connect with my channel all right so Sun sign um, earth sign people sunrise and sign earth sign people let's see what you're coming in with you are going to be bringing out the truth or letting the truth or shedding light on something so you sun sign Cap uh, sorry sorry earth sign people is shedding light on a situation okay so i see that um the energy of uh, um, whatever hardship that was going on with you or someone else I see this is coming to an end because light has been shed on what exactly has transpired okay I see a situation with um, work or your business however that is coming up I'm seeing this is going to your business or your work is going to be a success okay your business and your work is going to be a success however way it looks now your business and your work is going to be a success I see truths are going to be coming out things about your work is going to be very clear or things at your work is going to be extremely clear for you moon sign earth signs I see the energy of um, the eight of cups where you're going to be victoriously coming out of um, the darkness or a deceptive situation and turning your back on it and moving forward. I see the truth about a Leo or, or a conflict is going to be coming out for some of you. Okay. And I see the art breaks is going to be over because you're turning your back and you're moving forward. So what is going to be the outcomes that is coming in i see a new start is coming up for you capricorn so you sons oh, um earth sign oh my god i do i love the capricorn so this is for the earth sign sun sign people if you were born um between 6 a.m and 6 p.m this is the energy so you sun sign people are going to be shedding light on um, a situation that has to do with a Taurus and you're going to be bringing an end to that situation some of you are going to be shedding light to some hardship that some people was going through you're going to bring an end to that situation some of you um you were being played and work against at your work you're going to be victorious over this some of you are going to be showing the truth and finding out the truth of uh, um, a Pisces you're going to be um, finding out the truth about the Pisces and I see the truth is coming out I see some conflicts and there was some heartbreaks but I see you're going to be having a new start so let's look and see you are going to be bringing out the truth about some situation and a decision is going to have to be made because a transition is going to be coming out so whatever information you are whatever light you're shedding on something i see changes it's going to bring changes i see the truth is going to be coming out whatever you weren't seeing clearly this is going to be coming out some of you weren't seeing a situation clearly and i see the truth is going to be coming in okay i'm sorry ladies and gentlemen but don't worry um so i see that transition is going to be coming in and a new story is going to be coming up to your work okay so if you have a business and you have work i see debt and transition a new start is going to be coming up to your work okay however that is happening and however that is transpiring i see a new start if there was some situation there was some issues on the work floor i see a new start coming up 
the energy of the knight of wands i see they're going to be finding out the truth about an aries leo or a sagittarius i see you're bringing out the truth you're shedding light on the truth about an aries leo or a sagittarius okay you're definitely shedding light on the truth about an aries leo or a sagittarius i see conflicts and the conflicts has to do with uh, a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio I see a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio are having some conflicts however these conflicts are and however they're coming in is this your partner um, um, is this someone you're doing business with is this your partner is this a personal thing is this a work thing is this a family thing I see you're having conflicts with this person so I see you're going to be successfully overcoming a situation with uh, um, um with a taurus and uh, some of you it's with uh, a with a taurus or with a scorpio some deceptive play that has gone on with a scorpio or a taurus you are going to be overcoming this situation some of you could be taking down a cancer on the way down okay so what is to inspiring is that i see that you guys are going to be speaking the truth and using the sword of truth to cut through whatever that has been transpired and happening because there's a whole lot of deceptiveness that has transpired on the work floor and in your life in your personal life and on the work floor there's a lot of deceptiveness that has been transpired some of you um so there was a situation with your car and i see you found out exactly what has transpired and it has to do with a car a cancer that has done something to your car okay you're going to be victorious and successful if you decide to buy a new car it is going to be good um buy it in the second week after this reading okay so you receive this week because the full moon is on the eight or nine for some people so the second week because i see some of you want you're going to be winning a car or receiving a car this is coming up for a lot of earth sign people if you're deciding to buy a car earth sign people the second week is going to be good okay some of you could be having a new promotion a high paid job and you're going to be getting a car of your dreams that to drive okay judgment call is coming up and the judgment call that is coming up is that you um they found out something about your business that someone was skimming from your business for some of you some of you you found out some deceptiveness on the work floor that you're going to be um um you, you know show because you're shedding the light on things some of you a judgment call is going to be coming out for a pisces or some deceptiveness at the work and you're going to be leaving your work and turning your back okay so i see the seven of cups is here and the eight of cups so i see some of you are dreaming for a better tomorrow some of you are dreaming to get rid of uh, a deceptive um person that has created some issues in your life and you're dreaming for these people to just move away and release you release you okay out of these deceptive things that they come in a lot of you are going to be finding out that you're pregnant a lot of you could lose a baby um, um yeah this is uh, a lot of you could lose a baby because I'm seeing heartbreaks uh, um, that is coming up with the energy of a child some of you could be heartbroken by a Pisces cancer or a scorpion I see you need to stand your ground whatever is transpiring with a child I see you need to stand your ground and protect your child so whatever the issues and situation is I see uh, you need to stand your ground and protect a child protect a child from some deceptive situation that is transpiring then I see news of um, the page of Pentacles is coming to let you know that there is going to be a new start to your financial stability um, money is going to be coming in for you guys so it is a wonderful positive energy that is transpiring you in um, you end the um, the four weeks uh, on a good note okay so um, a Pisces or it's not a Pisces just a Pisces cancer scorpion is having conflicts with a Leo and they are going to be finding out that a Leo has taken some money and the money is um, they, they uh, you know they could have just find this out because this four weeks is about judgment call so whatever is transpiring for you earth sign sun sign people sunrise and people 
it is about judgment call okay it is all about judgment call um i see communication is going to be strong and i see also um communication is going to be very strong because you you guys are seeing the truth and is shedding the light on a situation that has transpired and you're seeing the truth whatever is transpiring you want to buy a dream car it is time now um the truth is going to be coming out about a, um, a taurus a deceptive lawyer a Taurus a deceptive lawyer what this person has done and you're going to be victorious and successful because you are going to be receiving what you were open for and this is going to be good now um, a lot of you are going to be shedding light on situations but um, you are going to be shedding light showing the truth about an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius whoever this Aries Leo or Sagittarius was whoever this person was they have done some really deceptive situation they have done some deceptive situation and I see the truth is going to be coming out and you're shedding light on the situation and light on these people towards what they have done I see an issue with a child is coming up I see heartbreaks with a child but I see some of you are going to be standing up and protect this child I see some of you just really wants to get rid or get out of uh, um, a connection with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. I really see that you want to get out of this connection or however this Aries Leo or Sagittarius affects your life. I see you really want to leave the situation and get out of this situation because of some deceptive situation that has transpired, okay? So I see some of you dealing with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Some of you could be getting married to this person. Some of you, this could be your child's um, father. And I see this person is going to be sending some child money um, where um, he has not paid some money to a child. Some of you are going to be finding out that this person had a child and never told you. And I see this is going to be heartbroken and you're going to be protecting yourself. So you might uh, end a relationship, but I see you're going to like protect yourself. Um, I see um, you're going to go through a phase where, because um, this is like a husband or a partner and they have a child. Did they know about it or did they didn't know about it? That is going to be your question. So um go back and listen um to the reading and i see that they have to be paying this money but it's as if you were wondering where their money was going but you weren't aware of where their money was going because you're thinking why is it this is always about money where is their money going this because they had a, a, a child or some thing that they had to pay for not letting you know they didn't let you know about the secrets and i see you're going to be protecting yourself definitely some of you might lose a child some of you you might have a miscarriage and you might lose a child but there's a lot of judgment call that is coming out and i see a lot of new starts is going to be coming up for you earth sign people it is a very very positive alignment of energy that is coming in for you earth sign people because i see you're going to be overcoming whatever situation that has to do with work you're definitely going to be overcoming these issues and this situation you can see this whoever is dealing with a boss who is a pisces cancer or a scorpion i see this person have to pay you a lot of money because they find out that at some deceptive situation at transpire and i see they're going to be sending you message of the new start to your financial stability and they're going to be sending you a message so i see they could be paying you off you're going to be very successful at overcoming some deceptive situation that has to inspire it can do with traveling i see you're going to be happily true if you're traveling you're going to be happy i see you're dreaming of just letting go of a situation that has to do with a fire sign it's as if you don't want to deal with this person the situation anymore and you're going to be letting go of this okay so we're going to be moving on to the moon sign hurt sign people to see what is going to be coming up for the moon sign earth sign people so remember if you want to see your individual extended reading use the link or if you are a member of my channel it is it is already uploaded two days before you get the general reading okay so um when you become a member of the channel um 
your um, extended reading uh, sometimes comes out like two days before so that is kind of good so remember to always listen to the general readings before you go for the extended okay because everything is based from off the extended reading so universal angels and guides uh, um, goddess of the moon please show us for the moon sign people the moon sign, earth sign, people, what is coming up for the month of February for them. I'm sorry, I'm always looking through the window. <laughs> All right, so what's coming up for the um, earth sign, people? I see the energy of the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in the, the reverse. So um, you, earth sign, moon people are dealing with situation to do with a fire sign. Um, I see the energy of the sun is here. Okay, you're going to be a successful over what is happening and transpiring. I see the star is here also, so a healing is going to be taking place. I see the energy of uh, money is coming in for you. Um, this is inheritance, ten of pentacles is inheritance and financial stability. I see you're dealing with a young Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person and there is some situation it could be a child that expect to have all of what you have created okay so I see some of you are going to be definitely ending a situation with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. This person is between the ages of 18 and 45, okay? I see the magician. You, um, in the second week, anything you want to do, first week and second week is very beautiful. The energy of the star, especially the second week. So, uh, eight or nine, it is a full moon. So, the week after the full moon, I see the energy of the star. You're going to be very successful and the magician is going to be helping you. Then I see the energy of the Empress is coming up for you guys. So the third week is also going to be good because the Empress is bringing back some money inheritance that you were supposed to receive and somebody took it or steal it. Um, it is going to be returned to you. It is definitely going to be returned to you. I see multiple opportunities. Information is going to be coming in as you go to the last week. So this is the first two weeks of March. So I see a lot of information. I see a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion wants to reconnect with you. This could be a child that you haven't heard from in a very long time. And as you come to the two first week of March, I see this person wants to communicate with you. But I see either they are blocked or you are blocked from communicating with this person. Either you are blocked or they are, or someone else is uh, blocking you from communicating with this person so or um you could be protecting yourself from this person now this person is coming up as a child for some of you some of you this person could be coming up as a partner for some of you however this is happening and transpiring i see some of you are blocking and and sagittarius from you also uh, yeah, it's the energy of a Sagittarius. I see you blocking a Sagittarius from you. I see the Sagittarius could be bringing you some offer of love, but you're like blocking the Sagittarius from you. So it looks beautiful, I won't say. Um, I see some of you are going to be successful over a situation um, with a um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius, what they have done. And I see you protecting yourself as you go in the first two weeks of March. You're definitely protecting yourself from a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, whoever this person is. They're coming up as family. And it's as if you are, whatever has transpired, you, you in the third week get a huge um, money. Um, somehow this money came back in because there was a theft. Now, you moon sign people, this is very good. Um, because you have, um, first you have the sun, the stars, the ten of pentacles, and uh, the knight of cups. Now, whatever is transpiring, I think these are beautiful, beautiful energies, okay? Um, however, this is coming up for you guys. These are beautiful energies that is coming up. And this is obviously, um, here you go, the energy of the sun, then you have the star, then you have the ten of pentacles, but it has to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Now, this Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion could be coming up 
as your partner or it could be coming up as a family member your child so however this person is coming up I see you're gonna be successfully and overcoming a deceptive situation that was at play whether with that person and some money or something else is coming up okay so and I see you're protecting yourself from this person however um, this person so we're going to be looking in to see who is this person and what has transpired um, so moon sign people this look good then we see the end of a situation with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and I see whatever that was uh, a lot of communication coming in in the, the, the first two weeks is that there is an ending and you're victoriously coming out of a situation and I see some healing is going to be coming in in the second week and what we're seeing here is that in the third week going in the fourth week um, you are going to be receiving some information about financial abundance and money is going to be coming in for you um, financial abundance and money is going to be coming in for you so however this is playing and however this is transpiring so let's look and see I see a situation where people in corporation is coming down there was a deceptive person an Aries Leo or Sagittarius in a corporation and I see you overcome and successful over this deceptive play that has transpired by this Aries Leo or Sagittarian and this was a young person that has created some lies and deceptiveness you are successful over a situation and you're walking away from this situation you're very successful over a situation that has transpired and you're walking away I see the message of news that um, money is going to be coming in and this is going to be um, positive um, the energy of the world I see a corporation is going to be letting you know um, um, that they are going to pay you for some deceptiveness that has transpired with you so I see the Sun uh, use uh, her, um, moon people being very successful and um, the truth has come out okay oh my god I said it the truth has come out and I look around yes the truth has come out over a situation and they found out you also they are seeing um, the deceptiveness of an um, Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person they you brought out the truth and yes they found out what exactly has transpired so this first two weeks is going to be very good because I see that you were um, placed in such a deceptive position and I see now you're coming out now some of you were dealing with an issue a legal issue of that sort of a thing or this could be a mother that is an Aquarian I see um, if she wasn't feeling good a mother or a grandmother um, um, yeah it is an Aquarian if she wasn't feeling good or whatever what is transpiring or if she um, she's going to be feeling much better there's a healing that is coming in so if your mom um, was an Aquarian or is an Aquarian that is having some issues I see that she's going to be feeling much better the nine of Pentacles is here money is going to be coming in that's what I said um, some of you this woman has to pay you a lot of money it's like the court is ordering this lady to pay you a lot of money so you're going to be receiving um, the news of money coming in to you and this is going to be a lot of money because of some deceptiveness that a corporation has done the seven of ones is here I see you standing your grounds and you're standing your grounds against an Aquarian woman whoever this Aquarian woman is she is 50 years and older and I see you standing your grounds against this Aquarian woman whoever this Aquarian woman is she has done some deceptive um, situation where she has stolen from you and I see you're standing your ground they're taking back the money she needs to return the money it's as if this lady got your information and let someone else um, put her name and you were paying their bills also and I see they're uh, they're caught and I think they should go to jail if these people do not go to jail then there is no then they're not going to change because it's as if you let them off free and then they go free and then they go back five seven years ten years later and do the same things if you guys are going to be letting go these people while they do deceptive things by using other people information and 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 um 
other people are paying for their bills if you don't let them go to prison for them to understand how it feel they will not ever um, understand because they do these things and you people give them um, a slap on the wrist they're supposed to feel the pain if you do the deceptiveness and you do um, the criminal offense what you know you cannot use someone else's name and get access and get service and let that person pay for it whoever did it whoever works in the utility company to do it and them should go to jail okay that's my point on this there is just too much deceptiveness that other people have to be working hard and stressing out to pay their bills while somebody else is on their bills okay because I've had it I've seen that happen where I'm paying eight hundred dollars just for one telephone that I don't even call outside of the um, the states eight hundred dollars okay and that was because somebody else was using my service so they need to do the jail time the people who work in the utility companies and the people who are on your service who have used your service they need to do jail time and if they don't do jail time they will never learn anything okay so um yeah this was a deceptive situation what you um um, earth sign found out is that uh, there was an Aquarian woman she um, let someone in a utility company it's like a telephone company or some utility that you have to pay for or a car company use your information and send your grounds they're supposed to get jail time you do the crime you are supposed to do the jail time because you use someone else's information to access and get service for you and your family and your kids and let someone else's pay for it and then you're going to use someone information to access no let them do jail time let them do jail time mm-hmm yeah night oh yeah oh yeah yes 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 they're going to do jail time and pay you back thank you thank you twice nine and this is just so deceptive because i've seen this i swear to god and um 800 and i was like yeah but what am i paying for i have service at home which is nothing less than 50 dollars for the internet service at home i have a telephone that i don't call out of the states because i use my internet service at home um to call my partner in europe and it's always facetime or my internet service at home on my computer and someone was using my information and taking service and it has to do with and this is ladies and gentlemen they do the crime let them do the time no slap on the wrist let they bloody do the time and if they don't do the time you are going to notice Three, four years down the line, the same people create the same energy where they do the same thing. How can you be working to protect the customer and information of customer and you're using customer information? That's not right. Do the jail time. Again, three of cups celebration. Bam, bam, bam. Art signs. Take them down. Take them down, earth signs. Seeing the truth of a situation to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. It is a Cancer. The truth of the situation is coming out with a Cancer. Um, I see the world is coming up. So you're ending a cycle, ending the series, ending a cycle to whatever is transpiring. Okay? You're really taking down this and ending the cycle. I see the truth is coming out. Um, this is the eight of pentacles the truth is coming out about your work I see um, you are going to be celebrating however your business your work it really looks good for you uh, moon sign people okay it really looks good so moon sign people some of you are going to be finding out that someone in your apartment complex or someone in your vicinity was using your information to acquire service it can be telephone service can be um, light service however but you weren't in the vicinity someone who has received your information some of you are going to be finding out that it's a very good friend someone who you help has done you this injustice and and you know send out people and make sure that these people get jail time because if they get a slap on the wrist what they do they do it again jail time for them sorry ladies and gentlemen I don't care if it's my friend and they do do me this injustice friend 
friend it means something loyalty to each other okay and that means that that person didn't have any loyalty to you if it's even your neighbor if it's even a family member jail time because they do the crime they use your information okay all right so this is going to be looking good fabulous fabulous for you moon sign people we're going to be looking at what is transpiring um, a lot of business is going to be coming in for you moon people if you're working with um, a water sign person a lot of business is going to be coming in for you a lot of people are going to be picking up and working for you and this is looking good let's look at what is coming up in the houses um, hurt sign people and your yeah, earth sign people you find out that your neighbor uh, only your child you spared the child and slap the child on the wrist but your neighbors and people around you and people who pretend to be your friends no let them do the jail time they do the crime of using your information when you have been loyal and being a friend because earth sign people are very loyal um being friends and then your own friends are going to use your information no let them do jail time not until people realize that when you do this sort of a thing then yeah you know it's so sad I am really disappointed in the world. Uh, it's very sad. I wasn't aware that people were so deceptive and so horrible to each other. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. You don't have it, then you don't have it. But if you think it's a joke to use other people's information to acquire stuff, I don't find it to be a joke. I draw the line. I draw the line when that is happening to um, me or anyone in my family. Okay, it's just deceptive. You can't be a friends with people. Those are friend enemies. So do the day with time. Yeah. Wow. So first house, the energy of the sun is in your first house, earth sign. People, this is beautiful. This is wonderful. Oh, uh, you guys are going to be feeling good about yourself and you uh, you deserve it you deserve it earth sign people i see luck with money this is a love coming up in oh um <laughs> taurus says you are going to be finding the love of your life okay and it could be um through a business deal but um it could be oh my god taurus says taurus says okay so a lot of you um love in the second house so um true um what you share with others the love that you share for others that is going to create financial abundance in your world okay and uh, so um for um the tauruses the second house is your house tauruses and i see you are going to be falling in love with someone um either in the beauty world or someone you're going to create a lot of financial abundance but um you're going to be helping someone that you are in love with is someone that is not aware of this because that is your house taurus so you are in love with someone this person is on um and you're going to make sure that they are financial abundance even though the person is not aware that you're in love with them you're going to make sure that things happen for them okay all right so queen cox complicity in your um around you so this is happening in at the work floor a lot of com yeah complicity is like competition compl uh, complication on the work floor complication at home complication it's just a time where a lot of complication i see communication is very important in a family whatever is transpiring it's all about communicating in the family whatever the issue is the situation you need to communicate more with the people in your family okay i see communication is going to be coming in there's some mystery around your friends okay and virgos you can understand that mystery around your friends capricorn you can understand that but taurus is as if wow it's kind of weird um you know they're really weird what is happening so there is mystery around friendship semi sextile opportunities virgo this is your house and i see a lot of opportunities is going to be coming up for you virgos uh virgos are going to be creating opportunities for the other earth sign and this is going to be beautiful 
um, sex style for an opportunity land in the house of the Virgos and I see the Virgos are going to be helping and helping other people uh, creating opportunities for other people so other earth signs okay so this is going to be good in the seventh house seventh house is about your your unexpected luck is going to come in for you and your partner so in the seventh house you earth sign people unexpected luck is going to be coming in for you and your partner whoever you're in a relationship with a love relationship with some unexpected luck is going to be coming in for both of you okay and this is just so positive because unexpectedly some some issue and some situation is going to be happening that is going to bring luck for you and your partner whether it's a business partner whether you're married to this person whether you're friends with this person and business partner unexpected luck um you are also going to be in the eight hours of intimacy the eight hours of intimacy has to do with investment intention um contracts whatever to do with contracts um aesthetic um capital secrets mystery obsession and i see that you are going to be finding your true note in this eight house okay so it has to do with investment it has to do with contracts um some of you could be having affairs okay some of you could be obsessing over someone else and um and I've been affairs, but this you 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 realize that this person is a person that you were meant to be with, okay? Or however, this business, this group of people was the people you were meant to be with, okay? Then the ninth house for you, Earth sign people. I see opposition of balance um, resulting in a mirror, but this has to do with more of spirituality okay does have more to do with spirituality information coming up that is what it has more to do with okay then um, um reputation is going to be balanced out um, luck is in the house of reputation is going to be balanced out okay so whatever is transpiring i see you guys reputation is going to be balanced out I see Saturn is coming in to bring discipline and groups, creativity and friendship, humanitarian. So um, if people who are connected to large group, I see discipline, the truths and discipline is going to be coming in to create a deceptive situation and to bring balance to a deceptive situation. I see healing is coming in. I see a lot of you earth signs are going to be healing issues and situation. You're going to be healing the subconscious mind, but you're going to be healing through the dream time. You're going to be healing your karmas. You're going to be healing forgiveness. You're going to be letting go of baggages. You're going to be healing spiritually, mentally, and physically. And this is this good. So wonderful um alignment of energies extremely wonderful alignment of energies whatever that is happening and transpiring extremely um wonderful alignment of energies however this is happening and is transpiring now in the self with the sun i see you're dealing with it with a leo or your partner and you're choosing for yourself you're releasing this person and choosing for yourself because you're realizing hey you can't take nothing away from me okay and you're looking at this person as if really seriously um you are so so i see you are going to be successful over a leo whatever a leo has done um you are going to be successful over a leo okay now the energy with cancer i see that um some of you could be going in business with a cancer a cancer could be creating a lot of financial abundance for you however this could be a legal payout that a cancer have to pay you a lot of money for some deceptiveness that they have done but however it is coming up earth sign it is a situation where i see a cancer could also fall in love with you and is going to be helping you out financially okay so that is good cancer now in environmental i see you're radically removing people and situation there is just someone who is creating some issues and situation around you in at work and in your environment and it has to do with this aquarian it has to do with this aquarian and what is transpiring and happening you're going to be radically removing this aquarian out of your life 
as you move forward and we are looking at uh, um mercury family um some of you are dealing with an aquarian in your family whatever the issue and the situation is um with this aquarian i see you need to communicate with this aquarian so whoever this aquarian is communication is going to be the key um if this is a family member because it's falling in the family zone you need to communicate with this person it's um important then we have neptune in the friendship and there is a situation that is not especially if you have a liberan friend there's some mystery around this liberan friend whoever this liberan friend is there is some mystery around this person so be aware of about, about, about this person because there's really some mysteries that is created around this person maybe this person is not even aware of it or maybe they are aware of it and they are creating some mystery now in the house of the virgos virgos you're going to be dealing with some issue and it's about the voyage now virgos whenever the sagittarius come up in your house um i see happy go lucky um honesty bear back just being who you are so you virgos you're going to definitely be creating um creating opportunities for other people but also creating things for yourself and creating other opportunities that is going to be helping people so however way you're doing it virgo it is what you were meant to be because you're you're kind of helping out other people as you go along then we have Uranus, which is unexpected luck. So Virgos, um, in your marriage and connection and collaboration with others, there is going to be um, electrify unexpected luck for you guys. Okay, so you guys could be um, if you're married to a Taurus or Virgos, is just going to be off the chart, just really unexpected um, luck that is going to be coming in. The eight hours, the hours of the Gemini, some of you, um, sex with the Gemini, um, uh, you could be having some flings with the Gemini, you could be seeing a Gemini, you could be having an affair with a Gemini, that is the person that you were meant to be with, okay? Ninth house of opposition. And um, there is some situation that as Scorpio is causing some situation with traveling. However, this is coming up and this is transpiring. I, um, it could be um, this. Yeah, this person has created some situation with traveling and that sort of a thing. But I see that whatever this person has created, they have found themselves um, in the same position. So they created issues for you earth sign people and now they fall in this in the same thing luck with for you capricorns you capricorns luck is going to be in your first house because i see a pisces is going to be um helping you and a pisces is going to be helping you to bring you luck so um and capricorns is going to bring and balance out all the earth sign um repetition reputation a lot of you your reputation is going to be ill and the capricorns are going to be healing but the pisces are coming in for the capricorn to help the capricorn to heal their reputation okay saturn is bringing back discipline in the 11th house the 11th house is when you come to an huh, uh, the 11th house is when you come to the edge and guess what Capricorn is coming up to help everyone in the 11th house. It could be that you Capricorn is uh, bringing end to groups. Okay. You're bringing back discipline in corporation institutes. Eh? Okay. It could be that some of you are becoming bosses. Some of you are becoming leaders in whatever way you can. But I see you touching the hearts of a lot of people worldwide groups corporation set up goals i see a lot of you are going to be get, receiving a lot of help um to create your um abundancy and this is going to be good but capricorns are going to be helping you guys out when you come to the edge with a situation with groups of people the capricorns are going to be coming in and helping you guys out then i see elin so Healing comes up in the 12 hours where you Tauruses are going to be healing issues, past life issues and situation. I see this also coming up with your extended reading. So go check it out. So you Taurus fall in the house of the 12 hours where healing is going to be coming up for you. So 
A Taurus is it's all about healing past life, karmas with other people, letting go of the baggages, forgiveness, okay? Guilt, healing, spirituality, going back to the Akashic Records to heal certain issues of yourself. So Capricorn, this is the most important thing um, for you in this period in your house. There is a cancer that is going to be working to you to create financial a bit, um, um, balance. But um, they're going to be bringing birth to new things so you can make and money. But um, you fall in the house of healing in the 12th house, so you're going to be healing karmatic issues, okay? Um, and Capricorn, you fall in the house of the edge where you're bringing discipline to corporation institutes, a group of people. So, guys, this is wonderful. So, enjoy you, Earth Sign. I love you guys. Namaste. Until next time. Thank you.